Hi there, it's Allison Graham here from Elevate Biz and Resiliency Ninja. Welcome to Tactical Tip Tuesday. And today's uh, topic is all around when do you launch a product or project? When you're, uh, when are you actually ready to push go? And I'll tell you the story about how this idea came to be, and then I'll share the advice that I gave to my colleague. So she wants to launch a podcast. And that's great. She's got a wonderful prime prospect who like very um, specific group that she wants to share this message with. She has an idea of some of the guests she wants to have, and she wants to have it as a weekly podcast. And the night that we were meeting uh, after work for a drink, she said, I am going to interview my first guest tomorrow. I said, fantastic. So we talked about some strategies on that. And I said, okay, well, when are you going to go live? When are you launching the podcast? And she said, well, I don't know, maybe next week. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. No, we don't want that. <laughs> because here's the problem. If it's something that's going to be consistent, then you have to be sure your life is available to record consistently. And what I mean by that is with the podcast, so if she did one interview on a Wednesday and then it launched the next, next Wednesday, she would forever be playing catch up. She wouldn't be able to take a week off. And why do we want to create a business that we can't take some time off from? Uh, she would you know, be scrambling. What if somebody canceled? Oh my gosh, the next week your podcast is canceled. And so instead I encouraged her, take some time, get, you know, 10, 15, maybe 20 different interviews in the can. You can do them all in a, like, you know, one week and schedule them all in and pre-record them. And then you can launch when you know you have 10 or 20 weeks ahead of you of solid content. So you're not going to be scrambling on a weekly basis. And she said, well, I have the time to do it every week right now. And I said, right, but you've got to plan your marketing message and projects like that around the future potential of your company. I said, what will be your priority? Will it be the podcast or will it be a coaching client when your podcast goes like wildfire, all the athletes are listening to it and they're coming to you for performance coaching and you uh, have to do this podcast. It's, it's too much of a juggle. And so I encourage you, if you're going to do something that's weekly, you may notice that I pre-record and I bulk record a lot of your, not every week, but most of the time I sit down and I do, uh, you know, 12 weeks at a time or five or six sometimes and pre-record these because I'm not consistent. I know that if a vacation comes up, I'm not going, <laughs> I'm not going to be recording a video or if somebody hires me to speak and I have to do a full day on Tuesday, I'm not going to be doing tactical tip Tuesday because I'm going to be totally 100% focused on the client in front of me. So there's nothing wrong with front ending it all, all the work and then pulling the trigger when you know you can lay it out and uh, have it be consistent. And the reason I know this is because I've had way too many false starts over the, you know, years in my business where I thought I'd do something and I didn't do the work in advance to get it stockpiled and then I wasn't consistent. And so now I've learned my lesson and I'm sharing that lesson with you on Tactical Tip Tuesday. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, let me know. Are you, uh, do you think that's a good idea to front end all the work and then pull the trigger? Now, now we'll talk next time about not taking too long. Perfection is not required. Uh, producing is. So uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Again, Allison Graham here. Re visit me over at resiliencyninja.com and I will see you next week.